Top story, the campus of ETSU came together in a show of unity tonight after police arrested a student for trying to provoke protesters. The police charged Tristan Retke with civil rights intimidation. He is a freshman at ETSU and the public safety department said he admitted to trying to provoke protesters at a Black Lives Matter event today. Retke wore a gorilla mask, had bananas hanging from a rope right in front of the ETSU library today. It's a spot on campus that's considered a free speech area. Both students Students and ETSU's president, Dr. Brian Noland, said Redke's actions do not reflect the rest of the campus. And they echoed that statement tonight at a packed meeting on the ETSU campus. Carissa Winstead was there as folks at ETSU came together to heal. Yes, students inside the Culp Center told me just how important this event was tonight. It was a packed auditorium full of students, faculty, and administration who spoke about, about their concerns and how they can move forward from today's events. A peaceful Black Lives Matter rally on the campus of East Tennessee State University you think that's okay? quickly changed when a man showed up wearing a gorilla mask, carrying a bag bearing the rebel flag, and handing out bananas with a rope tied around them. Actions that were incomprehensible, intolerable, and impermissible. Students were holding the protest in light of some events that have been happening across the U.S., most recently involving the death of a man shot and killed by police in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's when police say Tristan Redkey disrupted the demonstration. It was hard to keep calm. But the students did remain calm as officers escorted Redkey from the scene. Wednesday night, ETSU students and faculty gathered to have a discussion not only about what happened, but also what the university believes in and how to move forward. It's a period in time in which our nation is not only raw, but our nation is healing. And that is the process that we will begin on our campus, is a process of coming together and healing. Dozens of people spoke out about the Black Lives Matter movement. If you can't see that we are human beings, then maybe you should rethink your beliefs. And more than 100,000 people watched online through Facebook Live sharing their opinions. Something protesters say is a move in the right direction. And it made me feel, feel better, like people actually care. Carissa Winstead, News Channel 11, in your corner. Redkey was booked into the Washington County, Tennessee jail in Jonesboro.